Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn about lapping length and development length. Let's go to the video. Before that, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the like icon for more notification. What is lapping length? If length of steel bar is not enough to keep the reinforcement, we have to lap two steel bars. So lapping length means overlapping of two bars. So why lapping length is required? Lapping length is required to safely transfer stress from one bar to another. Normally lapping length is 50D, which means 50 into diameter of steel bars. If you are going to use 12 mm die of steel, your lapping length is 50 into D. Here D is 12 mm. So 15 to 12, 600 mm is your lapping length. Okay, now we will see something about development length. Development length. To make grip between steel and concrete, we should provide development length. Also, it make continuous structure. It transfer the stress into the concrete. Normally, development length is 16 d. If you use 10 mm die of steel, you should provide 16 into 10 here 160 m is your development length okay now i will give some ideas and tips about lapping length and development length let's go to the idea session more than 36 mm dia of steel bar should not provide lapping length when you're going to lap the steel bar, there is a bend in steel, we call crack length. There is a formula to calculate the bend. 6D is the formula, 6 into dia of steel bar. If you use 20 mm steel bar, so you should multiply 6 into 20. Next we will see how to provide lapping length in column. You can see the column. So the important thing is, lapping should not be provide in the same point then how can we provide I will show you so you can see the picture this is the method to provide lapping length so in this column you can see the left side lapping length is upper than right side so there is a distance between center to center okay what is the distance between this lapping length so there is a formula to find out the lapping length distance so that's not a new formula we already know 50d is lapping length so we just multiply 1.3 so this is the formula to find out the center to center distance so here we can see 50d into 1.3 is the center to center distance formula okay i done an example for you I'm using 20 mm die of steel bar. So step one is we will find the lapping length 50 d 50 into 20 so 1000 mm is lapping length. Step two find out center to center. So 50 d into 1.3. So 1300 mm is the center to center distance. Okay, now we will see the next case. So you can see this picture. There are two bars. Top bar is 20 mm, base bar is 24 mm. So how, ca how can you find out the lapping length? Because 50D is a formula. So dial of steel bar, top bar is 20 mm, base bar is 24 mm. Don't forget this. We should take top dia of steel bar because base bar is already settled so we need to connect the top bar so here you should take 20 mm so 50 into 20 mm is the lapping length here these are some basic tips for lapping length now I will give a tip for development length also you can see the structure there is a beam and a column so steel bars here 
so the important thing is when you're going to bend the bars you should bend opposite side for example here the lower bar should be bent to upper side upper bar should be bent to lower side these are some important things because it will give a great grip for the concrete so we will discuss about these things in future upcoming videos i hope you will like this video share this video don't forget to subscribe the channel see you guys